Aloha. Living in Hawaii, we noticed a lot of Hawaiian words being mixed with English in writing, but the Hawaiian language is not commonly used in speaking. The locals speak pidgin. They get highly offended when tourists try to come and speak pidgin. Be sure to stick to English. We decided to put together a list of Hawaiian words that you will come across while visiting Hawaii. They are everywhere in science, the names of streets, in menus, they're just uh, tossed here and there. The first word you hear us say in most of our Hawaiian vlog is Aloha! which means hello with love. Aloha means affection. Hawaii is aloha state. Uh, Hawaiians are very loving people and they welcome you with love. Aloha is actually composed from two words. Alo means hello and ha means breath of life. So when they greet each other, they giving you or they sharing with you their breath of life. Another Hawaiian word you will see even at the airport is ikomo mai. Which means welcome. Another word you will hear everywhere is mahalo. And you'll normally hear that a lot of times because there's so many ABC stores in Hawaii. You go into an ABC store and when you buy something and you're leaving, they say mahalo, which means thank you. Or even after eating at the restaurant, they will say mahalo. So my friend Mikey came from New York and he's actually from the Dominican Republic. And when we told him that word, he repeated it and the way he said it was mahalo, which means to mash in Spanish. So just the slight twist of how you say the word actually has a totally different meaning. Mahalo, mahalo. And if you want to say thank you very much, you would say mahalo nui loa. The next Hawaiian word actually has a sign to it. Shaka. You also saw us doing it in most of our Hawaiian vlogs, which means hang loose, hi, or even thank you. If somebody, if you're driving and somebody gives you the right away, you give them shaka. And we actually had a, a vlog on the best Hawaiian food trucks and we explained the full definition of a shaka and actually how it actually came about. We'll leave a link in one of these corners or we'll leave it down in the description. Make sure you check it out. It's very interesting. Everybody knows when you come to Hawaii, you get a little flowery necklace on your neck or around your neck and that is called lei. The next word is, can you guess? Hula. <laughs> Hula is a Hawaiian dance based on gestures. When you dance Hula, you actually tell a story with your hands and, and gestures. gestures. Hale in Hawaiian means house. When you go on excursions, you will see uh, a little representations of, of what Hawaiian houses used to be and you will see on signs it says Hale or even some restaurants are called Hale as well. Nowadays in a modern Hale people have a lanai and what is lanai? Lanai is a porch or as we say in Belize veranda. I don't know if you guys say that maybe in in Europe, they use the word veranda, but it's actually a porch. It's an extension of the house. Or a balcony. A balcony, yes. So if your Airbnb host tells you, oh, there is a lanai, that means the apartment or the house comes with a porch or mm -hmm. terrace or a balcony. a balcony. Or you can also, while booking a table at the restaurant, if a restaurant has a porch area, you can also ask for a table on the lanai. Correct. Coming from New York, we're used to everything being wiki wiki means fast, quick, hurry. And when you're going on bus excursions, the tour guide will uh, will tell you come back wiki wiki. And even though it's spelled wiki wiki, it's actually pronounced with a k at the end wiki wiki. The next two words mean directions. Makai means towards the sea. And Mauka means towards the mountains. 
When we visited Big Island, there is actually Mauka coffee farms. If you haven't seen the vlog, again, we will leave a link somewhere here or in the description. The next two words you will see on every bathroom. Kani. Men. And Wahine. Women. And if you bring your kids with you, they are called when you go to a restaurant and you need kids menu, you will ask for a cakey menu. Also, if you're driving, you might see a sticker on the car which says cakey, cakey on, on board. board. So the next word, if you're a Disney fanatic, should ring loudly to you. So you remember Lilo and Stitch? If there's one word you're going to remember from Lilo and Stitch would be Ohana. Ohana means family. That's and right. family means Nobody, Nobody gets, gets left, left behind. behind. If you're driving around the island and turn on the radio, you might hear Kumu radio station. Which means teacher. Kumu means teacher. The next set of words is food related. When you come to Hawaii, luau should be on your list to do. And luau is dinner. dinner. That's right. And it consists of you know, your uh, Kalua pig, and it's just a big buffet, a feast for the king. And it's very ono. Ono means? Delicious. But before you start your dinner, you start with pupu. Pupu is? Appetizer. At the luau, you will find a lot of Hawaiian traditional food, like Kalua pork. Which is a pig that's cooked underground for about six, seven hours. It is a traditional Hawaiian cooking style and underground oven is called imu. Mm -hmm. Another traditional Hawaiian food you will find at the luau is poi. Poi is a starch. Uh, it's a paste made out of taro root. It has an acquired taste. It's almost like getting used to eating olives. But it's not as pungent as an olive. It's almost, it's kind of bland and it, it picks up the flavor of what you would eat with. So if you had meats, you, mi you mix your meat with it and it kind of takes the flavor. On to the desserts. Let's talk about hopia. Hopia is coconut pudding. They add it everywhere. Hawaiians and coconuts go hand, hand in, in hand. hand together. Next one is lilikoi. Lilikoi means passion, passion fruit. fruit. Oh, I love so lilikois. If you saw our video at KCC Market, there's actually a, a vendor there that they use lilikoi and they mix it with cane juice. Fresh it is squeezed. freshly squeezed. It is absolutely amazing. So again, that will be here, here, or definitely in the description. Make sure you check out that vlog and you'll see exactly what lilikoi looks like. It's so good. It's delicious. It's a must have. The next word is kind of like a funny one. It's Huli huli. Huli huli is rotisserie chicken or end over end. And it's delicious. Oh, it's so good. The next Hawaiian dish is poke. poke. It was originated here in Hawaii. From Hawaiian, poke means to slice or cut crosswise. And not pokey. It's poke. And it's uh, raw fish that is uh, cut in little cubes uh, mixed with sea salt, sometimes other seasoning, and it just served fresh and raw, and it's yummy. You will also come across poke bowls, which is raw fish uh, cut in cubes served with bed of rice or scoop of rice, and it's called a poke bowl. Hawaiians are very passionate about their land, and land in Hawaiian is, is Aina. Or if you hear or see signs for Kama Aina means Kama Aina means local resident and they actually give discounts to local residents. Not all the vendors, but some. If you see Kama Aina price, that means a price for local residents and they will ask you for a local ID or and driver license. You'll get a discount. Another word is Malama Aina means care for the land. Malama means care and Aina, like we just said, means land. land. So make sure do not leave your opala anywhere. Opala means trash. Mm -hmm. You will see the signs when you hike, 
no opala uh, and if you see a sign for kapu kapu means forbidden do not go across private property no trespassing it's kapu moku in hawaiian means island so when you go to Lanikai Beach and you see two little islands uh, far in the distance, they are called shortly moks. The next word is cliff or pali. So when you go to Oahu excursions and they bring you to the windiest spot on the island is pali lookout. We've also done a blog touring Hawaii and that's one of the spots we went to. So if you want to see the experience of what it is when you get there and just how windy it is, make sure you check out the vlog here, there or here. Another must know word in Hawaiian is honu. Which means a turtle. A green sea turtle. We've done a complete vlog about honu and everything you need to know about it as far as the rules and how they live and how you can see them, where you can see them. And that's all in one of the vlogs we did. Again, here, 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 or in the description. So here's a really cool word that you can test your friends on once you've mastered it. Especially if they get a few drinks in oh the yeah, system. Oh get yeah, get a few drinks in the system before you try this one. So this is Hawaii's state fish. It is called... Humu humu. Nuku nuku. Apua a. Yes, that's just one word. One word. Let's say it a little faster. Humu humu nuku nuku apua a. There you go. Try that when you had a couple of drinks in your system. So we've also done a vlog at uh, Hanama Bay and snorkeling. And you can see these fishes while you're snorkeling. So again, here, there, or in the bottom, we'll leave that vlog so you can see exactly what that fish looks like. It's beautiful. So if you're here for the Christmas holidays, that's called Mele Kalikimaka. And there's a song for it and you should know it. Mele Kalikimaka <laughs> means Christmas in Hawaii. Exactly. The next word, we've also done a vlog on the big island where it was living off the grid on lava. And the word is? A'a. Uh A'a -uh. uh -uh is a type of lava which is very rugged, it's very jagged, it is very rough. And sharp. Very sharp. And another type of lava is pahoehoe. Hoi. Which is very smooth and flowy. So as you may notice, we're at this beautiful location, lush green with a beautiful ridge backdrop behind us. And for some of you, this might look familiar. We shot a vlog here when we first got to Oahu and it's called the Olena, which is located in the Royal Hawaiian Golf Club. It is spectacular here. And if you want to see the full review of this place, make sure you check out that vlog. We will leave a description so you can check it out. So we hope you've learned a few things, some words maybe you probably are very familiar with and some maybe for the first time you heard it, but at least you've learned something. If this came valuable for you or if there's someone you know who's visiting Hawaii and they might want to learn a few words, make sure you share this video with them. I'm sure they'll appreciate it. And be sure to check out our Instagram and Facebook. That's right. It's more current and you will know exactly where we are at the moment. That's right. And you can send us a message with some love. That's right. So don't forget to like, comment, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell notification. And as usual, just, just be, be out, out with, with us. us.